right, you've probably seen the infomercial. Maybe you've seen it parodied. Uh, they're called shake weights. Parodies? You Never. were demonstrating. Yes. Uh, they're now the focus of a brand new fitness class. That is right. <laughs> Allie McKay is shaking with excitement oh, at the prospect of taking yeah. part of this new shake weight class. And Allie, is it better to go yeah. slow or better to go fast? Just a question. Um, I think you you kind of vary it. Uh, you vary it. You yeah. can know how you're you're doing, you know, by feeling the burn, if you will. Something I, I noticed doing the shake weight, there's a little mirror on the top, Aww, so you can actually check yourself out. Is that where the I've always wondered. Is that where the is that where the cool down spray comes that? out? Uh, no, that's actually only hey. on South Park, but glad Allie. you just brought that up. Uh, and it went Allie. to sleep mode. Strange. Yes, go Allie, ahead, Allie, I got a question. Uh, it's Mark here, and they asked me to join in, but uh, I've got course. a small white one. Weird. Does that make a difference? Uh, no, actually, you know what? I don't think, I don't actually think it's the size of it. It's uh, actually the technique and how you do it. Okay, thank you, Allie. Yeah, yeah, but thank you so much for asking that. I'm no, sure yeah. a lot of, of men at home were wondering that as well. Not Chris, because he... No. He told me he had the big black one. So, yeah, that's very good stuff. This has been parodied by every single show, including Saturday Night Live. Let's see a clip of that. God, go to the clip, please. See, it's very, it's very important. So many people make fun of this, but that's only helped this business. They have sold 4.5 million of these things, and it is a workout, Shawnee. This is no joke. You're out no of breath. Joke. This is serious. So if people are just joining us, how much do the, as Mark Krisky said, the little white ones, how much do these weigh? The white ones weigh two and a half pounds. Okay, and then the black ones? Five pounds. Five pounds. And you're saying that this is not just a workout with the shake weight. You're incorporating every aspect of fitness, right? Absolutely. This is a full body workout. What we have is muscular endurance going on here. We're challenging your strength, your muscles, but we're keeping the blood flow going. Multi-directional movements here with the shake weight. So you are burning lots of calories, your body sculpting. You're, you're doing all it all. Of it. Absolutely. And I think you brought up a very good point in the first segment. First rule of shake weight, six inches from the face. Yes. Yes. You don't want to bop yourself. <laughs> no. And I, I say that is a good tip um, in, in general. Just six inches from the face at all times. Safety first. You don't want to hit yourself in the face with it. Not even <laughs> the little white ones. It's true. Trust me. When we come back, we are going to take you through more of the classes. And would you believe... People are tooling around in a shake weight mobile. Yes, and by the way, the classes are here, going on for eight weeks here at the Hollywood Boxing Gym, but Shawnee is going to be branching out all the information on the screen. She is going to be going to all different gyms offering the shake weight class. And Mark Krisky, yes. can I just say, Glad you're back. Yeah. <laughs> We're all glad yeah. you're back. You know what? It's because yes. of the shake weight that I managed to get back in it's such good like shape. Inspiration. It was inspiration. It was, exactly. Yeah, inspiration. <laughs> Allie McKay, God bless you. We will see you next hour. Yes. Uh, and you people who are getting mad at me for not doing this, whatever. <laughs> yeah, come whatever. on, Megan. Whatever. There's YouTube. Here's Megan. I, I will learned. not be on YouTube. No, I, I will not be on YouTube. For the years, people. I know that, how this works. That stuff never goes away once it's on the I air. I know how this Trust works. Trust me. All right. uh, Sam, we're not, we're not saying there's an inhibited uptight quality to Megan. <laughs> not at all. No. We just found I out. I will not. But I, I, the thing that's sort of disturbing yeah. is uh, the, the enjoyment that Chris gets out of this. Right? It's well, the thing about it is, Sam, Mark was telling me you've been doing this exercise with out the way for years. <laughs> it's true. Who has it? This is Fashion Week over in Paris. The latest fashions are on the runway for next spring. But there was a problem out there today. One of the British designer's shows had the difficulty. A model fell down twice. That's her going down once. The young woman wearing that pink skirt and the orange platform shoes never quite recovered after that. There she goes again. <laughs> that had to hurt. That was uncool. That's embarrassing. This is at least the second time. <laughs> well, you all are just really tickled by that, aren't you? You try walking in those shoes. <laughs> First of all, baby, I got <laughs> enough meat on me that it's all right. George. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, we, girl. We want to apologize. Hold on, hold on.
You want to try? You want me to do it? <laughs> oh, oh, you're a dog. Oh, he lives to do that to me. Last week, Twitter said, Twitter said guidelines were being updated due to confusion. The company says any users who tweets content. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> All right, pulling it together now. It's 5.37. Good Thursday morning to you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, go to one. That's what we do. We go to this camera. All right, All right here we go. Veterinarians in Washington, D.C. keeping a close eye on one of the pandas at the National Zoo there. <laughs> Tinian Tian, 20 years old, the father of all the panda cubs that have been born at that zoo. Vets are worried because the panda's been losing weight for a few weeks. <laughs> Thank you for this. Even though he's eating the same amount of food, I can do this. Okay, okay. He's had an issue with arm pain as well. He's doing okay. That's the bottom line, all right? It's uh, 5.38, so it's definitely time to get to weather. Someone please explain what just happened. Wait, wait. We can't repeat it, Danny. Just, it's time for the I feel really out of the loop right now. I have tears coming uh. down my head. Here's a story you may not believe. A University of California Medical Center team has successfully removed a 200-pound ovarian tumor one yard in diameter from a 30-year-old woman. Physicians said that the tumor had been growing since the patient, who was not identified, was 15 years old and asked a doctor about an enlargement of her stomach. The doctor told her she was eating too much and put her on a diet. A seven-member team removed the benign tumor. After four and a half hours of surgery on May 24th, the patient was released from the hospital this week and said it's the first time in years I've been able to cross my legs. <laughs> Jessica. I'm sorry, we were uh, watching our friend Ellen DeGeneres. Our um, good friend. Our good Shout friend. Her all the time. In the commercial break. She was talking about aspirin and it's hilarious. Uh, Valentine's Day is just over a month away. And if hey. you're looking for a getaway, you don't have to go far. You don't have to go far for this. Datingadvice.com released their list of the top 10 most romantic cities in North America. Just so you know, Ellen's new special on Netflix, Relatable, is hilarious. And is that is, where this is coming from? That's where this is coming from, and it is very relatable. Okay. Shout out to Ellen. Okay. <laughs> Got it. All right, as you prepare breakfast this morning, grab those milk cartons. <laughs> Today is National Milk Day, a day I'm sure you have been looking forward to celebrating. <laughs> milk, oh, what are we going to describe? The script says to describe what milk is used for. So here we go. <laughs> Milk can be in numerous things like cereal, baking, a beverage. <laughs> you can just drink it. Oh my God. According to the encyclopedia. Pasteurization <laughs> began in the use encyclopedia. <laughs> Milk used to be pasteurized and started in the 1860s. That's when they remove harmful bacteria from the milk. Where did it come from? A French chemist and biologist, Louis Pasteur. <laughs> and don't worry if you can't celebrate. You got another chance in six months because that's World Milk Day. And Amber is dancing at my screen.
No, 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 bring Amber back. Bring Amber back. Come on. <laughs> I'm Chris Garrett on Fox 43. <laughs>